Hi YouTube. Hope everybody's doing well. I had a pretty good day. Um, I'm actually b baking some frozen bread dough and making some homemade chicken noodle soup for supper. So I'm sort of in the middle of that. My bread's rising. Then I'll put the soup on. So yeah. Um, so I thought I'd get on here and just say hello. <laughs> Not really too much else going on. Um, been outside a couple of times. It's a little gl gloomy out, but it's warm. It's probably about, oh, at least 30 some degrees. I didn't look, but um, yeah, it's nice. I heard somewhere that they said it looked or said it was um, snowing in Philadelphia, but um, from robin's video it didn't look like it well maybe it is i don't know but yeah um, somebody on uh, lionel nation said that this morning so i don't know maybe it did earlier or something i don't know anyway let me know if y'all got some snow <laughs> just curious now because it didn't look like it so but yeah I was uh, thinking about uh, the word hail, like uh, lumps of ice coming out of the sky, or um, like uh, Satanist would say, or like if I was talking to all the Christians, you know, Christ kids, I'd say, hey, all, <laughs> you know. So, but, you know, just words like, uh, um, like court, for instance, like you play tennis on a court and you use a racket, you know, it's kind of like, uh, what, when you go to court and it's what, governed by a racket, basically, you know, just to use the terms that they use in, uh, everything you know it's just the way it is like human meaning color hue you know or um monster in a law dictionary a monster it's defined as starting out as human and becoming a monster that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, my uh, favorite attorney, his name is Michael. Isn't that something? Um, yeah, I just thought it was. <laughs> I don't usually like attorneys, but I happen to like one. <laughs> well, I guess I like two. I did. I had one that um, helped me with an annulment. And uh, yeah, he was really cool. Him and his wife, they were the tallest people I had ever met in their kids. And I'm 5'9", and these people made me look tiny. He was like about 6'9", his wife was like 6'4 and a half, and their kids were getting even taller than them, and they were teenagers back way back then. So, it's like, yeah. That was pretty cool to meet some other tall people, but... Wow, <laughs> that was out in Montana, so, yeah, they were nice, really nice people, and they both were attorneys, um, this Dale, uh, Lord, and his wife, so, Dale's the one that did my paperwork, so, yeah, otherwise I would have probably remembered her name, but I had his on my paperwork, so, yeah. But I met them all, and they really nice family. So, but yeah, been doing a little bit of studying on that, and um, getting ready for a war. <laughs> Comes around, goes around, you know. So, oh yeah, why is it my phone uh, just happens to be? ringing I get on here and it's ring rings yeah might be my youngest son if it's you John call back I'll be off here in a little while 
but yeah. I don't um answer my phone a lot. I just look to see who's calling and yeah. Nine times out of ten it's business anyway. So yeah. And I unhook the um answering machine because if it's important they'll call back. So yeah. Yeah, kind of secluded. That's the way I like it. Yeah. I think it's hilarious the different bloodlines I have in me and my family um, being called a racist. Um, like my little sister's name is Ebony. Does that give anybody any hints? <laughs> to the Hugh men, my little sister and brother, <laughs> you know, yeah, plus our Native American and stuff races, <laughs> that really surprised me, but, you know, um, if idiots don't do their homework, they end up looking as stupid as they sound, so, yeah, oh, and then, um, my fifth grade education. I went to college when I was 15. You have to take SATs to get in there. If um, the person that was trying to insult me knows what a SAT is, you know. That was my first go around with higher education, so. Yeah, but the insults, you know, um, well, the lies you know, trying to demean me, so, yeah, I'm going to make another channel, and I'm going to monetize it, and then, um, I might just block whoever I don't like, well, kind of the same as here, you know, I'm only out here making friends, I don't, um, you trolls don't matter to me, you really don't, at all, you know. I don't know what you think you're going to gain by harassing me and lying about me. Or if you just think you're having fun, well, I'll have fun with you too. Just wait. Your day's coming. Guarantee it. You're going to be really surprised. Extremely so. Yep, I'll never say your name. Say my name, say my name. Won't do it. Won't ever do it. Won't look at your crap. Won't watch your crap. I don't care about your crap. 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 Record that in your little brain. <clears throat> so. But yeah, I actually had a pretty good day. Um, slept late. I enjoyed that. Um, needed it. I've been up till about 3.30, so just watching stuff and studying and um, hard to sleep sometimes because I don't feel like it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Um, shout out, Julie. I love you. Um, thanks for getting a hold of me. My son's girlfriend. <laughs> You're adorable. So, um, oh, I don't know what else is really going on today. I did have some stuff written down, some words that I was going to lay on everybody, but I'm going to kind of wait because the timing's not quite right. You know, it's just like a matter of... Um, giving people enough rope to hang themselves. So, yeah. 
yes, that's what it amounts to. <laughs> so if I seem a little quiet, I have a lot to say, but it's just not the time. So, <laughs> yeah, they're just trying to make me angry and they can't because calling me racist, I would um, ha literally have to hate myself and all of my relatives and um that's just not possible the ones that raised me those um totally european pasty looking freaks cannibalistic background creeps like the trolls that bother me you skinny little anemic looking um girly boys uh and their foul mouth women if that's what you call them um you're very feminine you act like bees literally you do you remind me of little bitches so just thought i'd say that because you really do your um you might swear like a sailor but you look like a girl and an ugly girl too so just thought i'd tell you that so you really aren't gonna piss me off and i like i said i'll never mention your name never not right now maybe maybe another time <laughs> i might make a private channel and just or like a limited hangouts or something just for people that i like or you know yeah or even like on facebook go live over there you know or something or just talk on the phone <laughs> you know some of you have my number okay so we don't have to play their little games and we can stay ahead of them like that yeah definitely That reminds me of my friend in Texas. Well, what reminds me, my whole family's down there. Um, hi, everybody. <laughs> Enjoy your warm weather. Wish I could, too. <laughs> well, I could, but I don't want to leave my animals in the winter. They, they depend on me, so summertime would be different. And last time I went down there <coughs> a few years ago, um, yeah, it was um, really warm out, and I loved it. It was in July, I do believe. Yeah, that was great. It was like 104 degrees. I loved it. I love warm weather. I was hanging outside there all inside. <laughs> so, Oh, well. I don't mind it when it's cold out either. It's like today I have um, wood in my wood stove and the gas or, or propane heats up the floor. And so, I mean, it's nice in my house. I mean, the snow doesn't bother me or anything. You know, it's kind of like the trolls. They're out there. I don't care. <laughs> and I used to never call people trolls, you know. unbelievable oh i was said i wasn't smart enough to be a shriner who the hell would want to be a shriner you'd have to be stupid to go against god almighty jesus christ for christ's sake what's wrong with you <laughs> smart enough to be a shriner wow now i freaking heard it all 
you're not smart enough to be a Shriner with your fifth grade education. Oh, wow. Unbelievable that somebody would think you'd have to be intelligent when it only has to do with the bloodline coming from the Druids. You know, you and your little Druid cane blood um, low-class Illuminati brains. Unbelievable. And you don't even know you're stupid. That's the thing. If I don't know something, I, I don't know it. I'll ask God. And he'll tell me. At least I'm smart enough to realize when I don't know something. But um, when somebody's led by Satan like you, and you're so brain dead that you don't even realize you're being controlled, that's amazing. <laughs> I, I, it, just as, uh, what a bunch of puppets being used. Unbelievable. I don't care about you. I wish I could. I used to. I just don't. What do you want me to say? I have no idea why you would be coming and listening to me just to make your day go around <laughs> when you don't like me and I don't like you. I just don't get it. Or, yeah, I do get it. You don't get it. And you know what I mean. You don't. Doug's like, um, they need to get off this world. I said, no, they aren't going to be able to ascend. That's their problem. That is a problem. When you don't know what you're going to do when you die and you don't know what the next step is, <clears throat> all your little druid rituals aren't going to help you on that last breath. Think how important air is. When you don't have any more air, what are you going to do? In that very last second before when your heart starts hurting, because it will, what you going to do? When you're going against the only person that could help you, Christ himself. That's something. Because when you lie about somebody, you're an unfaithful person in the eyes of God. And that is turning away from the truth. That's the biggest sin. Well, a very big one. Not my problem. Don't see me making stupid videos about you. And I won't. I got other ways to take care of business. God helps me. And legally is a good way to. People think, oh, I can do anything I want. There's nothing they can do about it. Well, <clears throat> got a little news for you. First off, when you hire an attorney and you're their client and he's literally working for the courts, you, you become a ward of the state, which would deem you unfit is what you're either an infant or 
not of sound mind. So if I go in by myself or just have attorney file papers and then take care of business in court by myself and my adversary has to get an attorney, you become a ward of the state. I'm not that stupid. There's other ways to go about things and that's the way I'm going about things. Because um, I am being counseled on the steps to take. So that's basically what's been on my mind. Just stuff. <laughs> Yeah, stuff and get my bread in the oven. I better go check it and see how huge it's getting. And yeah, my beef jerky turned out pretty good. I could have used a little less salt. But um, next time, because I have the same cuts of meat, I'm going to be making um, the eight pounds turned out to be about four pounds of it. Um then I'll know how to adjust the next batch a little better. So, But it is really good. So, It turned out well. Like I said, a little sulky, but not horrible, horrible. Just, mm. But I can't stand that store-bought stuff that's got sugar and they soak it in some kind of, oh, I don't know. It looks like some old troll, smells like troll tastes like whatever they would probably taste like. <laughs> Just when I said that, snow comes flying off the roof of the shop. <laughs> I just found it comical. Good timing, God. <laughs> you know. Well, I'll let this one through. I'll probably be back later. I love you all. Um, thank you for joining me. Last chance hotel trolls, either back it down or I'm still coming after you and you are going to be really surprised, very surprised at what I can do all by myself. Well, not really by myself, but um, I don't need any globalist Illuminati little um, monsters brain to be able to function like a full-fledged um, human being, a real human, not one that's a Satanist playing a game for Satan, trying to make money off of other people's backs with your lies that are going to bury you, bury, bury bury you. That's very funny. It really is. Every time I read one of your trollish comments, I'm like, I can't really believe there's people out there like you being used by Satan. <laughs> That's just amazing. Nobody uses me. I would never allow it. I mean, God does. Christ is welcome to. But uh, evil entity or another human being or needing a group, some kind of group, um, team prep, whatever, whatever. I'm independent. I don't need a group. I just thought I'd tell everybody I'm doing just great. Um, like I said, a little tired. Just been staying up late and basically doing whatever I want. And so, um, ah, I love you. I'll be back later, I think. If not, I'll be back tomorrow. But peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota. USA. <laughs> oh, I was laughing inside. I was going to say something about the trolls. Just enough on that, right? <laughs> so, um, 
maybe I'll be back with some words for you, but then uh, maybe not. Might just pop in later to say hello. So, Oh, yes, one thing on that song of uh, Joshua fought the battle of Jericho. Isn't it interesting that one paragraph that speaks about all Saul's men Think about that when I told you Saul and Paul and Satan are the same person. So when it speaks of all Saul's men. So even like turn my voice off and just read the or go go listen to it somewhere else if you can't stand it. It'd be it's very interesting. It's an interesting um fact that's um been occulted in the Bible with their hidden which occult means hidden. So um, they're little incorporating their hidden meanings and everything. But um, somebody incorporated that paragraph in that song. So um, the knowledge would be out there for people, just like uh, the men that wrote the Bible, um, even though it was a Jesuit. Um, undercover doing it covertly but yet on the other hand still working for God because the covertness was like a three-way thing a three-way circus <laughs> yeah so yeah they're still there's still um men out there with God in their hearts that um aren't what they appear to be Boy, that's a mouthful. That really is. Huh. Well, anyway, everybody, I'll talk to you later. Peace.